Hi, everybody. Hi. Jessica and Victor here from the 3D Lab. So we're really excited today, right, Vic? Yeah. We currently have 22 toy box printers. Here she is. We love this guy. Victor, when did we get our first one? On Christmas 2022. Had we ever 3D print it? No. Were we very good at it first? No. Did we pick it up pretty quickly? Yes. And then did we become totally obsessed? Yes. Yes. Obviously, we have 22 of them now. So today is really special because, Victor, we have a brand new Toy Box Lob 3D printer called Alpha 2. Alpha 2. So you'll see on the box, it looks pretty close to the ones we already have, but there's a lot of differences. Toy Box says this offers faster printing, better precision, more durable hardware, and the part that I am so excited about, toolless calibration for easier setup. No tiny little screws and whatnot. So, Victor, have we opened this or seen one at all yet? No. No. This is totally real unboxing going on here. Victor, you want to do the honors? Welcome to the club. There it is. The Toy Box Alpha 2. Alpha 2, baby. Woo. Let's bring in the Alpha 1 to compare. Yes. Right away, I see a difference that I love. I like it, too. It's all white. A lot of white. It's clean, crisp, beautiful streamlines. And I see something that could be really good. Pull off your magnet. This is a big deal. Vic, tell them why. So, most of the time, people forget to put their printer magnet on. But it's usually because that's black. And the printer magnet is black, too. So it's not really visible. What? But with this one, if you forget it, it's all white. You're going to know it's gone. You're going to know. It. I it's love obvious. that. Because if you print without a magnet, you print... Spaghetti. Spaghetti. So that's a really cool feature. And I also notice that this one looks bigger. A little higher. And it feels different. This one's more plastic and this one's more metal. Yeah, this one feels like metal. That makes me wonder if this is lighter. Let's I have see. never thought this is heavy, but let's try it. Okay, this is really, really light. Okay. But I still think this is going to be light. <laughs> Are you acting? Okay. Are you acting? No, I'm not All right, acting. so I have to try, try it. it. I mean, so. I'm assuming it's lighter because it's plastic, but this never felt heavy to me. All right, easy peasy. That's I actually a lot heavier, sorry. Um, that's important to us, actually, because we travel with these. Oh, yeah. We take it to grandma's. We've taken it on vacations. vacations. Yeah. I see a difference in the back, too, that we're really going to like. Oh, I like this one. These must have different spool holders, and I'm going to tell you why that's so important. Let me show them the Alpha 1 first. Look at this sucker. Do you have Alpha 2? Here's the Alpha 2. These are so different. This drives us crazy. crazy. I'm going to tell you why. There's these three holes and you have to turn and snap in, but it never really stays very well Sweet. and it has prongs. So you have to snap on your printer food into those prongs. It will often come off when you squeeze your prongs and try to, oh, look, like that. that's exactly what I mean. Let's try yours, Victor. Okay, so really tight fit give it a little twist and so it, just to push in a twist it's in there it's can pulling I see it? the printer in there yeah that's super sturdy i'm gonna put my not sturdy one back in can we put our printer food on yes okay so here's my printer food put it on i'm gonna snap mine on and victor's is on there nice mine and snug sturdy. and another feature i was really excited about victor is they say that this has toolless calibration so Alpha Ones all come with the dreaded baggie of Allen keys. I hate those. I have to shove my big old hand back here and use this tiny Allen key and a tiny screw to calibrate my printer bed up or down. And I usually say a lot of bad words during that, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's see what this one's bringing. I see it already. Oh, I see it too. Okay. Right here is actually a much larger screw that you can get your fingers on and turn to make it go up or down. So I think that's way better, oh, yeah. especially because I lose that Allen key all the time, yeah. right? I love it. Should we calibrate? Yes, we should. Let's do it. Screens look the same. I'm really happy about that because I didn't really want to relearn 
a whole new setup. So we're all warmed up. The screens still look the same. Insert and remove arrows. So Victor, you load up cherry and I will load up apple. Okay. Dokey. I'm just Dokey. curious. Will calibration go faster? I have no idea. So here we go. It looks good so far. Dang, your lines are looking nice. Yeah, you got nice tight lines. It does say better precision. Uh -huh. So, calibration circles are done. They pretty much took the same exact amount of time. Um, let's see what we've got, Vic. Ooh, it's looking pretty nice. All right. I mean, it's really very clean. Right. So we're going to do this gnome and we're going to well, essentially like race. <laughs> Ready? One, two, two one. three, red. I finished before you. Alpha 2, still about 12 seconds ahead. However, from here, they both look like good prints, which is nice, which means this came like calibrated right out of the box. All right, Vic. Same, same kind of magnet. That magnet seems nice and grippy too. Okay. Mine is super easy to get off. All right, so Victor let's, and I let's are gonna compare it. our gnomes. Hello. Hello. Original Alpha 2. I mean, it's really, it's really good, both this of them. This one looks like he has more detail on his hat. And more little. Little. It does look a little bit tighter to me, tighter lines. Okay, maybe that's the better precision. Because we're actually going to insert a new collar and we're going to do a trickier print. All right, Ooh. test number two. 15 minute floppy dude. You ready? Uh oh. Okay, oh one. Two, three. Two. Mine is finally done. Alpha two for the win again. Again. Okay, but look, I'm right behind you. Yeah, it's a lot sturdier. I like this one. We move these up and down. We usually pinch from both sides and go like this. Um, yeah, this is very, this feels like a lot more solid and sturdy to me, actually. So, show it up close. Victor's floppy guy is floppy. That's the next test. Is it actually floppy? Or is it a stiff one that stands up? Okay, ready? So, success. Show it again, Vic. Next to each other. Give it a little. All right, so there you have it. I love it. Pretty sure that Victor's gonna take it home and test it out, right? Yes. So A plus for Toy Box Alpha 2. That's it. See you later. Bye.